Let me show you another way to fix poke through in clothing, especially in situations where it pokes through in so many smallish places that would just be a total nightmare to drag out the clothing with an editor or make the underlying geometry invisible in, in cases like that where that just clearly isn't working. And that is done with something called the push modifier. Let me show you how it works. It's a very interesting tool that is often neglected. Let me show you the basic principle first. If I go and create myself a torus, like a donut type thing, and I will go and give it a color perhaps, just so that it looks a little bit more palatable here. Give it something like a dark pink, for example. And so this is just a regular primitive here. Let me go over here to edit object geometry. It's kind of deep hidden in there. And then over here in this long menu, you find something called add push modifier. If you add one of those, then you'll see that there's a subtle change in the donut in that it happens. It gives you a name here, so you can give it a name. And then it, the donut appears to go slightly larger. And that's often all you need to just expand your clothing along the side of the normals. So the normals are the ones that on a regular object, they're usually pointing outwards. And then the other side of the normals, I don't think that actually has a name. That's just, you know, the other side of the normals, that would be the inside side of an object. So on my donut here, everything that I see on the outside is the, this the surface normals, and then the inside, well, I don't see. Usually they have issues there. So under parameters here, I can see that under general, I have this section now, which is called mesh offset. And that wasn't there before. And that's the name I've given it here, the push modifier. It's currently set to one, but if I go and play with the slider, you can see what happens with my donut. As I go and make it larger, then the donut really grows. And this looks like a real donut now, doesn't it? Oh, we need some icing. <laughs> Eat that blender guru. <laughs> so as you make that larger, the surface of normals are being pushed out and also the other way around. If you make that smaller, they'll go, they'll contract. So once expanding, once contracting. So that can lead to very interesting effects. Let me go and delete my delicious donut here again, raspberry flavor, and show you a figure in which I had this problem recently, which is the anthropomorphic hippo by Alessandro A.M. And I wanted to give him, for various reasons, I wanted to give him a karate outfit, and it just wasn't working because he's such a very distorted figure that even though Das Studio was trying really hard, there was poke through in so many places and it just wasn't working out. What made the issue worse is that if I enabled the smoothing modifier, I didn't actually see this until I started rendering the picture. And this is a really nice tip from Chris Cox. Thank you so much for doing that, for bringing me this tip, Chris. It is, of course, using the push modifier. And this is an excellent example that I thought I'd bring to your attention. So in my case, I have a top and a bottom here. I'm going to go and select the top of his karate outfit here. And I'll do exactly the same thing as I did before. So I'll head over to Edit, Object, geometry and then i'll add a push modifier here i can give it a name if i had multiple push modifiers so i could call this one here jacket expand for example just so that i know what that is later on and if i do that it's already applied a default value of one and all the poke through is gone which is really cool so i'm going to go back over to the parameters tab under the mesh offset tab i now have something called jacket expand exactly like i've named it before and i can go and make that larger or smaller so zero would be as if nothing is applied and I still have this issue here. And if I go and just crank that slider up, I can see that most of my poke through is disappearing. Now notice that this expands my jacket literally everywhere. So it might also lead to issues where geometry is intersecting or folding. So be aware of that. If I do too much, then even though this looks kind of funny, it is, uh, it is developing other issues that I had not expected. But nevertheless, if I use that together with my smoothing modifier, which I've disabled, I'm, I can maybe get some interesting results here, like, you know, a, a a fun fat suit or something. So play around with that. It's just another 
weapon in your arsenal of ever growing things that you can use with das studio and it's completely free and integrated so if you have an outfit that needs expanding everywhere and you've looked at the morph sliders in the outfit and there's just nothing that expands literally everything look into the push modifier just another tip i thought i'd give you away on your journey with das studio Thank you.